how to use a Brunel hardness tester. Brunel is one of the oldest hardness testers, named after Johan Brunel, a, a Swedish engineer of some considerable note. He came up with this test to uh, determine why ball bearings were failing. And uh, that's why the ball on the Brunel test is normally a 10 millimeter ball. He was simulating a ball bearing, striking an object. Although smaller balls uh, can be used, and they're called mini Brunel tests. We have them, but normally we don't need them. Uh, again, a big fat plate, like if you've seen any of the other hardness tester videos, uh, you can also use something for circular, we have that, but here we'll just do a nice piece of steel. And you can see the indentations made by the Brunel uh, hardness tester. And what we're going to do is measure the diameter of this indentation. Because the Brunel hardness is defined as the load divided by the surface area inside the indentation. So your geometry coming into play here. So we mount our sample, and again, easy enough to do. This is an electronic Brunel test. It's a wonderful thing. You can see you have a nice, simple interface, date and time, and it tells us it's a 10 millimeter ball. It's a 3,000 kilogram load, dwell time of 30 seconds. We can uh, get to the menus under this. You can see uh, just by hitting setup and it displays the various menus. This way I can change my load. If I use a smaller ball diameter, I can put that in here as well. We use the up and down arrow and then the enter to enter our changes. Uh, we don't need to do anything here because we're going to stick with the full load and the uh, 10 millimeter ball. So I'll just tap set up and get back to the main menu. Now we're ready to run the test. Here's how we do it. Very similar, if you saw the Rockwell video, we bring the base up to make contact. There will be a pre-contact. We'll have a symbol here on the screen, which is very useful. It will beep at us when it's ready to go. Now I can just feel it. Do you see now that's, that's the, the ball? And now we'll bring the sample up. And we're setting that preload and just gently you hear it beep and then you back away because now it's going to take 30 seconds to dwell and while it's dwelling this is turned off the handles are turned off you cannot turn them so you can't damage the test or the, the instrument and when you're in here you can see now the loads being applied are 3,000 kilograms the dwell time is counting down to zero. This is not a quick test. It takes about five minutes to do each one of these by the time you read the uh, values under the scope, which we'll do next. So we'll wait for our 10 seconds. But notice the nice thing with this digital machine is it's giving us a lot of information on the screen. So we just know that we can sit and watch. And now it will remove the load, and the test will be good to go. And I don't know if you hear that on the video or not, but you can hear everything releasing as it finished. I can now back off, and I can see my indentation. And the hardness is measured by measuring the diameter across both the length and the height, and we make two measurements, and we will feed those measurements into the machine. And I'll show you that next. We're now ready to measure the uh, diameter of the indentation. And we do that with a uh, small microscope. The scope is mounted over the sample. It just sits on top of it. You can see I'm using a light to shine on it so I can see it in my old age. You may not need to. And then we look through the eyepiece, and what you're going to see is a scale from 0 to 5, which is the mil in millimeters. And then this knob is the decimal places. So right now, you can see I'm at about 0.51. So if I look through the scope, I would see a 3, and then the edge of the whole 5, 1. And what you have is a set of crosshairs. And I'll see if I can kind of manually show you here what's going on. You line up the scope 
on the left side on the zero on the circle and then you bring your crosshair across and just touch the other side of the indentation and you count the large number of millimeters and then you get the last two decimal places here so right now I'm at 3.51 and let me try and get a picture down there and show you that that's fine you can see the sample little hard there you can see the numbers 0 1 2 3 can you see them and you, the lines a little hard to see much easier to see when you're looking through yourself so we measured 3.51 and 3.61 is the two diameters and I again measured across the, the hole and up and down on it just to get that or the indentation and I got the two diameters. Let's see how we can use the calculator to calculate that. You can do it manually, of course, by using the formula in your book, but who wants to go there? When we can just hit setup, down to the calculator, enter, and we said our first one was 3.51, enter, and 3.61. Enter. Brunel Harden is 292. And it's that simple. You can use uh, the Excel spreadsheet to calculate this as well, or just use your calculator like you will on your exam. So, But be aware that we have that built in here for you. To finish this how-to video, let's take a look at the uh, Brunel calculator that's available on the uh, OneDrive page, also in the G Drive. And here you can see we set uh, the load, the major load, 3,000 kilograms, the ball is 10. And you put in your two diameters, and you can put up to five readings, because this will uh, take the three, uh, removing the highest and the lowest, and average it out for you, which is really nice, because that's how you're supposed to do the test, right? With five readings, and you toss out the low and the high. But if you remember, ours uh, was uh, 3.51 and 3.61. And I type that in, and you see I get Brunel hardness, 292. So it works, and there's the formula right up top, all up and working, so you can use that, and here's the formula here. But remember, on the test, you got to do it by hand, so make sure you can enter that successfully and get it to go. I also show it uh, using SolidWorks. Here's a uh, ball that has been... Uh, partially placed inside the block when I combine it and get rid of the ball and you can see that there's a diameter there uh, which I can um, edit that and we said that the average if you remember back on our thing was 3.6 so we'll, we'll put that in so that would be the Average diameter, it's actually 3. Point, uh, it's actually 3.56. There we go. And that creates the correct area, so we can calculate that area and divide it into 3,000. And you do that in SOLIDWORKS using the equations. Here's the uh, area. Here's the load, 3,000. And here's the Brunel hardness, 292. So we can actually do these calculations right in the solid modeler. But that just kind of shows you the uh, physical uh, of, uh, explanation of the formula. So it's just 3,000 divided by this area. So now you've seen it all, and now you can do Brunel hardness.